Kyle. Kyle, wake up. Huh? Oh. Leon? What's going on? Garrett just came to see us. He said that they plan on examining all of us for bites and scratches soon. What kind of place is this? I don't know. But I can't say that I have a good feeling about it, considering the warm welcome we received at the front gates. There are a lot of dangerous people out there. They could just be incredibly cautious of newcomers. I understand that, but I don't really find it necessary for them to throw us in a cage before examining us like it's a damn dog show. Look, we're all scared here, but we have to try and keep our heads screwed on straight. Because if we get too fired up and try something reckless, then things will only get worse for us. He's right. I suggest that we play along with their little game for now. Whatever it takes for us to get out of this damn cage. We now plan to begin checking over all of you, seeing if you're in good health. We'll start with you, the one with the burnt face, and try not to make this difficult. Whatever you say, ma'am. Hey, don't give me that look. Since when did we start the process of locking new people up and stripping them down? It was put in place while you were gone. Sterling suggested the idea, and Amaya and Veronica agreed with it. Why, though? We would quarantine new arrivals and give them a quick checkup. It was nowhere near this extreme. Garrett, it's good to see you. Hey, Uncle Neil. Sorry it took so long for me to come home. A lot of shit happened while I was out scoping other areas. No, I understand. I'm sorry I wasn't here when you arrived. Some troops and I were busy cleaning out the surrounding area of any walkers. You sure that you should still be heading out to do that? Considering how old you're starting to get. <laughs> I might be getting old, but I can still handle the work I'm given. I'm going to have to ask you to remove all articles of clothing. <sighs> Jesus Christ. There. Go ahead and take a nice long look at it. How'd it go? But as well as it could have, considering the circumstances. I'm sorry, Kyle. I had no idea how much things had changed since the last time I was here. It's fine, Garrett. This is just the kind of stuff that happens when you try too hard to protect what matters most to you. Trust me, I've been there and done that. Yeah, that sounds an awful lot like our Council of Leaders. Speaking of which, the Council would like to speak to you now that you've finished being examined. What about the rest of my friends? They'll be released from the cage soon, just not quite yet. Come on now. My nephew and I will escort you to our leaders. Garrett! Glad to see you make it back alive! Truth be told, Amaya, I was afraid that I wouldn't make it back alive. I have Kyle and his friends to thank for that. You must be Kyle, then. Care to sit down? Have some cake? Are you... are you serious? Of course. I mean, when was the last time you had a fresh-baked cake? A long time ago, that's for sure. But I've never had much of a sweet tooth, so I'm okay. Suit yourself. Please, sit down with us. Alright. So, I'm sure you have questions for us, my friend. You're damn right I do. Your soldiers threw my people and I in a cage, then stripped us naked. Could you please explain the reasoning for that? I'd be more than happy to. You see, we have a certain and strict way of doing things, Kyle. 
It's important to make sure that all the people we allow here are strong and healthy. Otherwise, they don't serve much of a purpose to us. What do you mean by that? Everyone here has a job to do in order to keep Whitehaven up and running. We can't afford to have people just sitting around doing nothing all day. They'd be a drain on our precious resources. Tell us, Kyle. Are all of your people strong and agile? Yeah. All of them can pull their weight. Wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't for them. Can you prove that to us? Sure thing. Just bring them here and you'll get to see for yourself. I know where their home is. I can take you there. Wonderful. We'll get a team together to escort them here. Thank you. Are you sure that we'll fit in here? Some of my people might be more skeptical of how things operate here than I already am. It's understandable to feel skeptical at first, but our system certainly works and it keeps all of us alive. Trust me, you and your friends will come to understand that, and once you do, everything will be a piece of cake from there. Wow, that's uh, quite the council of leaders you have there. Amaya and Sterling, they're the ones with the louder voices in the room, you could say. Veronica is the quiet girl that never really seems to know what to say. Has it always been that way? Not always, but shit happens and that tends to change people and how they view things. <laughs> no kidding. But. My parents were close friends with that family, and they've kept us breathing for this long, so that's why we've stuck with them. You've wanted to change things though, right? I have, it's just difficult to get them to listen to what others have to say. Well, maybe Emma and the others back home can change that. I hope so. What the hell? God damn it! Get off me! <laughs> Jesus, Tim. Cutting it a little close there, aren't we? I didn't mean to get followed by those assholes, but I just couldn't get rid of them. Wow. Did you two do all of this on your own? Yes, ma'am. Very impressive. Anyways, Tim, it's good to see you make it back alive. Well, it wasn't easy, as I'm sure you can tell. Did you manage to scope out that prison like we asked you to? Yes, I did. And while there are a few walkers around, it's nothing too serious. Plus, there weren't any signs of scavengers being there. Good. I'll be sure to let my mom and Sterling know. For now, go get some rest. You've definitely earned it. Thank you, Veronica. Hey, Zane. Missed ya. Hey, big brother. You planning on staying for a while this time? Sadly, no. I'll be heading out again soon to bring more people here. Right. Because that's all you seem to have time for now. Never any time for me, huh? Hey, don't worry. I'll be sure to spend time with you when I have the chance. I promise. You coming too, Uncle? I'd love to, boy, but me and some of the others have to lead away that medium-sized herd of walkers that are heading this way. You sure you can handle that big of a job, old man? I'll be fine, you damn smartass. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Amaya, didn't expect you to be coming with us. Well, I'm curious to see this ski lodge for myself. Plus, I can handle myself out in the field. You know that. <laughs> that is true. 
I just hope Sterling and Veronica can manage this place until we get back. Oh, they'll be fine. Now, come on, let's go. So, what are your thoughts on this group? Do you think they'll play by our rules? Hard to say, but they seem like good people. Just that they've lost a lot. Everyone has, Garrett. Recently. Ah, fresh wounds. I understand. The leader seems to know what she's doing, which is pretty impressive considering she's only 18. An 18-year-old girl is their leader. <laughs> now, I did not expect to hear something like that. Emma, Lloyd, it's good to see you and your people again. Glad to see you too, Garrett. And I... So you brought your friends back with you. I did. They're here to help all of you. Where are the people we sent with you? They're back where we came from. They're getting processed into living quarters, and we're trying to find jobs for them. Okay, cool. I hope they didn't cause too much trouble upon arrival. It could have been a lot worse, but they behaved for the most part. Who are you? Oh, right. This is one of the members of the council I was telling you about. Hello, Emma. I've heard that you're the leader of this crew. Yes. Yes, I am. Well, my name is Amaya Keller. And we're here to help improve your lives. And hopefully, you can do the same for us. <laughs> 